In this module, we will review how to engage and disconnect the autopilots and the flight directors. Provided SRS is available, an autopilot may be engaged at 100 feet above the ground to reduce pilot workload. If SRS is not available, the autopilot may not be engaged until 500 feet. Engage Autopilot 1. The FMA confirms the engagement of Autopilot 1. As a general rule, when the captain is flying, Autopilot 1 is used. When the first officer is flying, Autopilot 2 is used. This ensures that each autopilot will be alternatively operated. Only one autopilot can be engaged at a time unless the crew is performing an auto land. The auto land procedure recommends that both autopilots be engaged to ensure the best level of redundancy for auto lands, auto rollouts, or low altitude go arounds. However, an auto land can be performed with just one autopilot. Once cleared for an approach, the pilot presses the APPR, or Approach, push button to arm the localizer and glide slope modes. The second autopilot may then be engaged. Engage the second autopilot. The FMA confirms the engagement status of both autopilots. Note the dual statement on the second line. To disconnect an autopilot, simply press the red AP Disconnect push button, also called the Takeover push button, located on either side stick. The FMA shows that both autopilots are off. The approach capability is downgraded to CAT 1. Both autopilot green lights on the FCU are extinguished. The autopilots and flight directors are both driven by the FMGCs. The flight directors provide guidance to the pilots as a function of the guidance modes and by targets selected on the FCU. These orders are materialized by flight director symbols. The flight director, or FD, symbols are displayed on either PFD, provided the director is switched on. The symbols on PFD-1 are driven by FMGC-1. Those on PFD-2 are driven by FMGC-2. The engagement status of the flight director is indicated on the FMA. The specific symbols in this case are the crossbars. They are referenced to the aircraft attitude symbol. To turn the flight director on or off, use the flight director push button located on either EFIS control panel. When a flight director is on, the green bars of the corresponding push button are illuminated. In this example, both flight directors are on. To switch them off, simply press the FD push button. When the flight directors are switched off, the FD bars are removed from the PFD. The FD engagement status is cleared on the FMA and the FD push button green lights are extinguished. Autopilot 1 has also been switched off. Note the blank space in the FMA. When both autopilots and flight directors are off, all mode fields are blank. Note that since the auto throttles are still connected, the auto throttle FMA still contains information. In this case, mock. We will now re-engage the flight directors, the captains first, then the first officers. Flight director one is on. The crossbars are displayed on PFD one. The FMA on both PFDs indicates 1 FD for Flight Director Engagement Status, meaning that only Flight Director 1 is on. Note that the symbols and FMAs for Flight Director 1 are displayed on both PFDs. Also note that Flight Director 1 push button eliminates in green on the EFIS control panel.
Also note that when the flight director was re-engaged, it came up in the basic vertical speed and heading modes. Whenever both flight directors and the autopilots have all been disconnected and one is switched back on, it reverts to its basic mode. Both flight directors are now on. The crossbars are displayed on PFD2. Both FMAs indicate 1FD2 for engagement status, meaning that both flight directors are on. The guidance modes for PFD2 are now being supplied by FD2. Also, Flight Director 2 push button is illuminated in green on the first officer's EFIS control panel. As a general rule, both flight directors should be turned on or off at the same time. Let's review the flight director symbols. The flight director crossbars consist of two independent bars referenced to the aircraft attitude symbol, a horizontal bar indicating the pitch command, a vertical bar indicating the roll command. If the runway is equipped with a localizer or an ILS, the roll bar is replaced by a ground roll guidance command bar for takeoff and landing rollout. The bar assists the pilot in tracking the runway center line while in low visibility condition. The use of the flight director crossbars has been reviewed in the EFIS module. However, we need to discuss the use of the track flight path angle flight director symbols. The track flight path angle symbology can be displayed on both PFDs by pressing the heading vertical speed track flight path angle push button on the FCU flight control unit. Click on the heading vertical speed track flight path angle push button. The flight path vector is now displayed on the PFD. On the flight control unit, the indications have been modified to reflect the change to track flight path angle. When the flight path vector, FPV, is selected, the crossbars disappear and are replaced by the flight path director, FPD. Note the mode change on the flight control unit from heading vertical speed to track flight path angle. Then verify that the flight path vector, FPV, symbol is displayed on the PFD. Then observe the changes on the FMA in the vertical and lateral columns. Remember, mode changes will be outlined with white boxes. Notice also that the heading target has been changed to a track target. Note, to make the two elements more visible, the flight director and the flight path vector have been widely separated. To use this flight director, the flight director portion, the wings with the smaller circle in the center, is kept centered within the flight path vector. Both lateral and vertical paths are flown by keeping the larger circle of the flight path vector centered over the smaller circle on the flight director. As an illustration, we will turn from the present track to a track of 140. The flight path director, FPD, commands a roll to turn to the selected track. The aircraft is rolled until the FPV flight path vector and FPD flight path director are aligned. Approaching track 140, the flight path director commands a rollout to level the wings.